What's up guys, this is Rob of Black Hill Woodwork, and in today's video, we're going to be turning this. So I was looking at my wood pile, didn't really know what to make, then I saw this very thin slice of red cedar. You know, it's very thin, but it's actually pretty long and decently wide, so I think we're going to try to make either a very shallow bowl or some kind of a plate and uh, maybe even make a live edge. So let's go to the bandsaw and cut it up. Here it is. That's our center point. Let's put it in between centers bark on this side because we're going to be doing a live edge bowl. Now let's start turning. Still got this little bit right here. A lot of tear out, but that's okay. I'll be sanding that off. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Let me get the dovetail tenon, and then we can flip it around. Cool. Let's hollow it out. Okay, so we got on the lathe. Start turning it. Okay, I know it looks pretty weird without the red. Oh, I just dropped my bull gouge. It looks pretty weird without the red, but you can see it right there. It'll come in. Just need to go a little deeper. Just want to check the wall thickness. This is a pretty shallow bowl. So the last thing I want is to go through. Plus I have a recess on the back. I don't know if I made a tenon, but also a tenon in a recess, if that makes sense. Can't tell you guys how many times I've went through a bowl especially when I first started. So always check the wall thickness and make sure you're not gonna do that. Okay, let's keep going. Not too much more. Just a little bit more on the inside. looks good that red in the inside looks kind of weird but if I go any deeper I'm going through this thing so let's not do that uh, sand from 80 to 400 some Yorkshire grit and then we'll finish the bottom side and take that tendon off Okay, and there it is. I'm not gonna lie to you, the buffing pad that I've been using it looks pretty dirty and it looks like it kind of stained the wood, made it a little bit darker. Um, I'm not sure if that'll stay, I mean, you can see it right here. So I'm gonna go get a paper towel and wipe this off. If it doesn't come off, it's fine. 
Doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Actually, it looks pretty good. Definitely a very odd shape. I love red cedar, not only because of the red in it, but the shape when you make live edge bowls with it. They always turn out so cool. So, all right, next step, let's flip it around and take off that tenon. Turn the speed down. You actually want the speed to probably the lowest speed your lathe could go. Mine's only 400. And I'll tell you what, I wish it went a little bit slower for this next step. So I see a lot of people using vacuum chucks and a bunch of crazy stuff. You don't really need that if you have a chuck. Um, got my chuck. Make sure you have some padding so it doesn't leave a big mark in the wood. Bring up your tailstock. You should have a hole from your tailstock previously. If you put it in between centers. I guess if you had a, a faceplate, you wouldn't. And put that tailstock right where that hole was. Make sure everything's tight. Now let's take off the tenon. We're gonna be very gentle with this. I learned this next step from Phil Anderson. You kind of want to get in there, dig it in, one hand on the bowl gouge, one hand on your off switch, and right when that thing comes off, apply pressure to the bowl, and the tenon should come off. I will admit that it is pretty risky. I've had some bowls do some things that they shouldn't have done, but I'll try it out for you guys. I don't usually do it too often. So it might not uh, work as planned, but we'll see. Okay, you know what? <laughs> it's basically there. We don't have to keep going. I feel like I'm messing up my bowl gouge. So here it is. We'll sand this off, sand up the whole bottom. Looks pretty good. Uh, we're going to put some tried and true on, wait 15 minutes, then buff it off. And then we'll see what the final product looks like. But if you guys stayed this far into the video, thank you. I appreciate it. Hit that like, subscribe button. Stay tuned for future videos. And see you in the next one. Peace.